Hi, I'm Jen Schultz, and I'm your DFL endorsed candidate for Congress in Minnesota's 8th District. I grew up in a small town. My grandparents were farmers, and my mother struggled to raise me and my sister after divorcing my father, who was an alcoholic, but also a loving father, firefighter, and Vietnam veteran. I started working at age 14 parking cars at the county fair, then at a restaurant and at a grocery store. I worked my way through college with assistance from government loans. Today, I live in Duluth with my husband, a criminologist, and our two teenage sons. I teach economics at UMD and have expertise in health policy. From 2015 until 2022, I represented Duluth in the state legislature with a proven track record of getting things done in a divided government where no party had total control. Working closely with my Republican colleagues, I advanced measures improving access to affordable health care, reducing drug prices, and expanding coverage for telehealth. I closed corporate tax loopholes to make our tax system more fair. I was successful in securing millions of dollars in bonding projects, including the Essentia Hospital and St. Luke's Medical District. As a Great Lakes Commissioner, I advocated for federal funds to clean up the St. Louis River and to address invasive species. I focused on solving problems. My opponent, Pete Stauber, is part of the most chaotic and unproductive Congresses in history. He aligns with an extremist faction and corporate interests. He supported invalidating the 2020 election, thereby refusing to uphold our Constitution. He voted against investigating the January 6th insurrection, and he's a member of the Republican Study Committee, which supports restricting Social Security and Medicare. He voted against the largest bipartisan infrastructure bill, yet did not hesitate to take credit for the billions in funding for the Blotnick Bridge, roads, lead line replacement, water treatment, airports, and broadband. Stauber voted against investing in domestic manufacturing and jobs. He voted against helping veterans exposed to toxins. He voted against funding for law enforcement, affordable child care, against access to birth control, against limiting use of forever chemicals, against capping the price of insulin. He voted against funding for Ukraine. He voted against a Republican bill that would lower health care prices. He voted against labor and voting rights. He even supported an amendment that would cut $6 million in funding to public schools in our district. He also sponsored a bill preventing access to IVF treatment. Pete Stauber has failed to deliver for our region. Despite being in office for six years, he passed only two of his bills into law. He named a post office and he created a task force. His inability to work with others has resulted in missed economic development and job opportunities. He blames others and complains about issues he should be solving, including border security. He's definitely no Jim Overstar. Stauber gets paid $175,000 a year and qualifies for a congressional pension, but doesn't show up. He fails to host in-person town hall meetings and ranks near the top for missed votes in Congress. Instead, he's wined and dined by DC lobbyists and is funded by corporate PACs including fossil fuel companies. As your U.S. representative, I'll be focused on, address, on addressing economic issues, such as, such as inflationary factors, protecting Social Security and Medicare, affordable housing, tax fairness, and border security. I will ensure we are respecting tribal sovereignty, and I will fight to protect all our rights. And as a daughter of a Vietnam veteran, I will prioritize helping our veterans with housing and health care. I will fight to keep our rural health care facilities open and fund EMS. I will be a leader for responsible mining. I will listen, work across party lines, put country above party, fight for working families, deliver real results, and I will be on your side. I will work to unite us. There is a better way forward, a future where we improve lives by, by investing in people and in our communities. I look forward to earning your support and working for you. Please vote in the August 13th primary and the November 5th general election. For more information, please visit our website, jenschultzforcongress.com. Thank you.